Today, we gonna cover everything you need to know about digitization in ArcGIS. Especially if you are the beginner, this video is for you. Right from what is digitization to making the most complex digitizing task. Before that, if you are watching my video for the first time, make sure you hit the subscribe button. So without any further ado, let's get started. We have this scan map of Dhaka city and you can see the headquarters, boundary, roads, water body, railways and others. And we will turn this scan map into this digital map where you can see various layers such as boundary, water body, roads, railways and headquarters. What is digitizing or digitization? Digitizing is a process of converting geographic feature on a paper map into digital format. The XY coordinate of a point, line and polygon features are recorded and stored as the special data. The feature attributes are also recorded during the digitizing process. To digitize we need shapefile. So what is shapefile? A shapefile is a simple non-topological format for storing geometric location and attribute information of geographic feature. Geographic feature in a shapefile can be represented by points, line or polygons. The point feature of a shapefile can be used to represent the headquarters, bus stations, ATMs or airports. The line feature can be used to draw roads, streams or boundaries. On the other hand, the polygon feature of shapefile can be used to draw water body, river, lakes and all other polygonal areas. So we are in our ArcGIS platform and uh, first of all we need to connect our data folder. To connect our folder, we need to go to here and catalog panel. Select folder connection option, right click here and select connect to folder. A connect to folder dialog box has appeared here. Now I am selecting my tutorial folder from here. You can select your folder where you have placed this folder. So I am selecting my tutorial folder, click OK. I have a Dhaka city rectified image and I am clicking this and dragging it over here. If you don't know how to rectify or georeference a scan map, you can check my another tutorial video from suggestion. To digitize this scan map, we need to create some shape file. To create shape file, go to our data folder and right click here, go to new and select shape file. Okay. We will create total three shape file for this scan map to digitize this. And first of all, I am creating a headquarters shapefile. Uh, you can see all of these red dots are headquarters. And now I am giving this name as headquarters. We all know about the point features. So our headquarters here are point feature. Now I am giving the feature type here point as it is default. So now we need to specify our special reference go to edit click on here i special reference properties as appear here we need to specify our geographic coordinate system from here so go to geographic coordinate system click this plus button or icon go to world and then select wgs 1984 you can mark this as your favorite by right clicking here and then select add to favorite i'm clicking this and now see my wgs 1984 coordinate system has added to my favorite section okay click wgs 1984 then click ok then you can show the details about this coordinate system by checking this show details option okay so click ok then our new layer headquarters have added in table of content so you can change the symbology of this headquarter layer by clicking on this symbol button or you can right click on this layer go to properties then go to symbology tab you can see all of the tab here we need to go to symbology tab to change the symbol of our headquarter layer so click on this button or icon so i'm selecting this circle too and taking the size as 10 and giving the color as this one okay then click ok then apply okay so we have one layer called headquarter we need to create another two layer 
called the boundary and also the water body as i'm ensuring all of you that uh, we need to learn about digitizing not to learn about the step so learn the basic of digitizing and you will be master of digitizing then we need to create another shape file called boundary go to data right click here and then go to new select shape file then i am giving this name as bound okay we all know the boundary is a line feature then i am selecting the feature type from here is polyline okay then select your special reference go to edit then select wz1984 from favorite i am selecting his and then click ok ok now our boundary layer has appeared or added on this table of content window or panel then we need to create another shape file go to new and then go to shape file i'm giving this name as water body okay so we all know the water body is a polygon shape and then give the feature type as polygon go to edit select this and select wgs 1984 select ok so i am changing the symbology of both boundary and water body clicking here and i am giving the boundary as boundary country and keeping the size or width is 2 giving the color as this such a green and then click ok and also water body color is black okay this is perfect for my water body then click ok okay so click here we have three layer here you can see the headquarters which is point layer boundary which is line layer and the water body which is polygon layer so we already have known about these three layers that point line and polygon which are vector layers and we have this rectified image so now we start our digitizing we need two toolbar to digitize our map one is editing and another is snapping go to customize select toolbar and then go to editor okay we need editor click with this and drag it over here again go to toolbar go to snapping here like this and drag it over here to start editing go to this editing option select this and click or select start editing it will start all of the editing session for you i'm clicking this now you can see all of the tools and editing toolbar have enabled now so first of all uh, we need to select this one create feature as we are creating features on our map or geofence map we need to select this one and here a create feature panel have appeared now you can see all of the layers here boundary water body or headquarters and uh, we can draw by selecting them as we are creating features on this map okay so we don't need this dialog box or catalog dialog box or catalog panel so click on this auto hide button to hide this i'm clicking this now first of all we will start digitizing by our this point layer called headquarters and you can choose the construction tool from here point tool is better i think and i'm suggesting all of you to use this tool to create point layer okay so select this headquarter and then select point and then you can see my icon or this mouse cursor containing a point icon zoom the map where you want to place or create a new point i'm placing here one another you just click and drag the map and just click on i'm creating all of the points quickly for the tutorial purpose so 
So now we have digitized all of the points from this map and uh, uh, let's go to another layer to digitize this. So now I am going to my boundary layer from here, select this one, boundary layer and select line feature. You can select uh, another tools or construction tools here but line tools is best to draw a line. Okay, So select this one, this tool and go to your map. One thing I want to share with you that uh, the more you zoom, your data will be accurate more. Okay, so I'm starting from this point. I have digitized one line from here to here. Okay, we have got the snapping tool, but we are not using this one. I have already shown you that the use of snapping tool select this use snapping and you can see the all of the point snapping edge snapping vertex snapping all are checked on and uh, i suggest all of you that uh, you checked on all of these tools or all of this option here are another three option okay so click here to turn on this layer now again select boundary select line and then if you turn off if you are not use the snapping tool here and uh, nothing showing here okay nothing showing here but if you check this use snapping you can you can see the boundary edge midpoint and all of the vertex are showing here so you can start from any of the point of this existing boundary okay so i'm clicking on this boundary vertex here and then starting drawing my line another line i am doing this quickly for tutorial purpose you can do this slowly for your accurate data So now I have drawn all of the boundary layer here and you can see the boundary layers with poly point layers and we have another layer called water body which is a polygon layer. Now I am unchecking this boundary and water headquarters. Then now we will start our drawing with water body. Here you can see many tools, construction tools here that you can Select a polygon, a rectangle, or circle, airlips, freehand, or autocomplete polygon, autocomplete freehand. I recommend all of you to use this polygon tool to create a better polygon or create your feature accurately. So I'm selecting this polygon and I'm starting from this point as my water bodies are here. Then you can see all of the blue features are water body here. Okay. So let's start. So I'm starting from this point as I'm drawing the water body from here. It's very easy. You can try and you can draw your all of your features to digitize. Okay. So I'm digitizing my all of my features quickly. So once you have done your digitizing, just double click here your feature will be created and you can see my water body 
one water body here and another water body i'm drawing all of the water body for tutorial purposes quickly Now you can see all of my water body have done to draw and uh, you can see all of other two layer with this and we have this three layer headwater boundary and water body which is point layer line layer and polygon layer so that's all about all digitizing you can try yourself to do your best digitization i have digitized another two layer called road and railways which are line layer here you can see i am unchecking the dhaka city rectified image and you can see all of these five layers here headquarter railway road water body and boundary and uh, you can draw any layer by this method you can digitize any of your scan map thank you guys for watching my video and if you liked it please do subscribe and do let me know in the comment section below if you have any question